going to show you how to make a log cabin quilt block and this is from the log cabin quilt block set from Creative Kiwi the one that I've chosen to do is the courthouse steps one and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop cutaway stabiliser I've got a red thread here you want to match your thread to the lightest colour of your fabrics if possible I'm using masking tape, my squizzers, some poly fleece batting you can use um, cotton batting or bamboo batting whatever you prefer and I've got all my fabrics cut to size the, um, the strips for the logs uh, I will cut off as I go I've just got them cut to width you're going to start off by hooping your stabiliser I like to put pins around the edge of my hoop so that it holds my stabiliser nice and taut so place your pin on top of the hoop push it through the stabiliser and just bring it back round and it will sit nice and neatly on top of the hoop you're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting lay down your batting over the outline and then tape it in place so that it doesn't move during stitching pop your hood back into your machine and stitch round number two that's going to secure your batting and it's also going to give you all the placement lines for your fabrics Trim up the excess batting from around your block You're now going to place your first fabric over the centre square and tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it trim up the excess batting from around this square but leave yourself a quarter of an inch place your second fabric face down over the first and you want it to overlap this stitch line here so if you make it meet up with your quarter of an inch um, seam allowance here the fabric to the edge there that would be perfect and then just tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it you're now going to fold your fabric back because I aligned this with the trimmed up edge of my first fabric I don't actually have to trim anything off of it for the moment so I'm just going to pull that back and lay it flat don't pull on it too hard because if you do you will end up with the stitching showing where you don't want it to so tape it down so that it doesn't move and then pop that into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to secure this fabric We're now going to trim up a little bit around this fabric again leaving about a quarter of an inch seam allowance We're now going to place your third fabric face down over blocks one and two and this is going to be your next area that you're going to stitch so place it on the right hand side of those blocks and tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it fold your fabric back and just lightly finger press that flat again don't tug on it 
tape it down. You're now going to put that back into your machine and stitch round number seven to secure it. You're now going to trim up around the edge of the fabric. I've removed the tape already. You're now going to place your next fabric face down over blocks one and three and you're going to be covering this time area four which is this area here. So place it face down and line it up to the edge of where you've trimmed up and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number eight to secure it. Open out your fabric and finger press it then tape it in place. Pop it back into your machine and stitch round number nine and that's going to secure your fabric. Trim up the excess around the stitching. And you're now going to add your next fabric. You're going to place your fabric face down over number four, one and two and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 10 to secure it. Fold your fabric flat and once again finger press it. Then hold it in place with a little bit of tape. Pop it into your machine and stitch round number 11 to secure it down. Trim up the excess fabric from around the edge. You're now going to add fabric number six and that's for this area here. So you're going to place your fabric face down over two, five and three, like so and tape it in place. Pop that into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Fold your fabric back and once more crease it and then tape it in place. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 13 to secure it. We're now going to trim up the fab each side of the stitch line here but we're going to leave this here because we're going to need this seam allowance either for the quilting block or for when we add the backing to turn this into a coaster. We're now going to add the seventh fabric and once again face down over number four, three, and six and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 14. Remove the tape then fold your fabric back and crease the seam. Tape it in place. Pop it into your machine and stitch round number 15. This time you're only going to trim the top end of your fabric. Place fabric 8 over the seam line of 5, 4 and 7 and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 16 to secure it. Flip your fabric over and tape it in place. Crease the seam. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 17 to secure it. 
we're now going to trim up this end I'm just going to cut a little piece off of here just so that it's not too excessively long okay you're now going to add your last fabric you're now going to add your last fabric so place it face down covering the end of number eight five and six and tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 18 fold your fabric back and pre finger press the crease and then tape your fabric down pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 19 now if you're doing the quilting block this will be the last stitch round that you will do if you're stitching this as a quilting block um, your stitching is now completed and you can remove this from your hoop if you're going to turn this into a coaster you're going to stitch the last round and in the case of the 5x7 it's round number 20 so take your fabric your folded fabrics and place them face down and you want the seam the, the fold sorry towards the middle and then you're going just to tape it in place add your second piece so that they actually overlap and tape that down as well you need to pay particular attention to here because as the foot travels round it can actually catch underneath these fabrics so what I like to do is tape the middle down and then I will tape on the edge as well just so that it can't lift you're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 20 remove any tape and pins from your hoop and then you're going to free this from the frame and we're now going to trim this up around the outside of the stitch line and we're going to leave at least a quarter of an inch all the way around And then we're just going to angle off the corners not too close to the stitching but just so that it makes a neat corner when we come to turn it we're now going to turn this out the right way And I'm just pushing my scissors into the corner and now all that remains is to press it and that's your coaster completed I hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, inspiration and help there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.